Hello, this is Pamela, the Stampin' Pink Rose. And I have uh, an idea. We're going to shake this up a little bit. Pardon the pun. We're doing a shaker card. And I've got two cards to show you, and we're going to do one of them. So let me show you the first card, and this is the one we're not going to make. So if you want a video on it, you're going to have to email me. So i got it upside down. So this one here is a little different. It's got your plastic in it, just like this one's going to have. And it also has your punches, which we're going to use today. This is the punches. So it has wonderful confetti in it. It's a confetti punch. Okay. This used this stamp set, which is Confetti Celebrations. And this used, which the one we're doing today does not, uses your um, foam adhesive strips. And they, I'm going to pull one up so you can just kind of see it. They come in a strip, just like this, and you can bend it. So this means you're going to be able to curl it around that circle. Okay, so there's those. Okay, now I'm going to set those on the floor because we're not going to use those. And I'm going to set that card. So let me show you the card one more time. This is the card that we're not going to do. I will have a picture on my site. Okay. This is the card we're going to do. And I've already taken and done some work on it already. Okay. This is happy birthday. Okay. And I'm going to show you what I've done and what all's in it to save time. Okay. So, all right. The stamp I used for this one was Happy Birthday. Love it. Nice big stamp. Great on it. Okay. So, I've already done this. And what I've done with it, it's gotten a little messy, is I've taken a window sheet. Now, I'm not using, this came by the way as Sandy, by the way, my good friend. I'm not using a window sheet because of stamping up because it's too thick and it just doesn't work for me right so I got this at the craft store you decide what you want to use but this one's a little thinner I like the weight of it better it doesn't have as much static in it so I use this for the video for this card okay so you can decide but this one says permanent ink heat resistant so you'll be able to do that safely the flowers came by the way of Petite Petals, is what I added, okay? And I used the Mayflower leaf on this, and then I just simply took a little bit of my Wild Wasami. I used Wild Wasami paper, and I used Wild Wasami ink, and then I just simply sponged around it a little bit, okay? And then these are popped up on dimensionals. So that's the flower, okay? Now, what you're going to need is the following, and I'm going to go grab my measurements. Hang on. They were right inside the door. You'll start off with your standard card fold, which is a four and a fourth by five and a fourth is what it is when you get it folded. So it's eight and a half. Okay. Eight and a half by 11. And you'll just fold it, just like we always do. Okay. Then I took, and I didn't bring it out here, but you guys know, the brick embossing folder. I embossed it with the brick embossing folder, okay? Then I took this, and I'm not going to do it now, but I took just this, and I just ran a little bit of it to just so it holds, okay? You could use painter's tape, whatever you want, but you want to hold the card in place. Then this one is a three inch layering squares. Three inch, this is the three inch. So if you measure it from frame to frame, this direction, you're gonna get about three inches. And I use the narrow one, okay? So then what I did was I took and got it in place, just like this and cut it and I cut both through 
Now you're not going to cut all the way through to the flip of the very back side, okay, on it, okay? All right, so you're going to do that, okay? Then you're going to take two pieces of acrylic and cut them at four by five and a fourth, okay? So you're going to get two of those, okay? And one's going to be your back, one's going to be this, okay? So you have your card coming up like this. And I've left something out, and I'm going to get it in a minute. So what I did was, I've got to get one thing here. I tried to remember everything, but that doesn't always work. Okay, this is that double-sided tape. This is a different one that I used yesterday. It's your choice. That's that double-sided tape. Now, I'm going to... You know, I just knocked one over. I'm going to use the Island Indigo from another one on here. So I can just see where I'm putting this down making sure I'm going to, so I'm going to put this right on the one that is not stamped happy birthday. And guess what? I left off my scissors. It's morning and I'm not normally taping in the morning. So here we go. So I cut that and I'm going to do it again. And I'm going to move this up. If you have it on white, you can't see it as well. So I would put it on a piece of colored cardstock is what I would do. And that means just set it on it. You're not adhering it. Just a piece of scrap. And then I'm going to go the other direction. And your width is up to you. I would not use a three-fourths on here. I definitely would not do that. But if you want it just a tad wider than when I grabbed, so be it. You can do that. Okay. And this is that double-sided tape. Remember when I did the wow yesterday, I showed you about it. Okay. Now I'm going to cut just a little off up here. There we go. Now, my next step is this. Take this paper out of the way. Is I have pre-punched, because I'm doing a card challenge, I have to have Pacific Colors, which is Mint Macaroon, Island Indigo, and Sweet um, Sugar Plum. So what I've done is I've already pre-punched these. Now the only thing I did was, I've got one of these in here, and that's it. I don't want a lot of these big ones. The only thing I did was I chose to pull out a lot of the big ones. And there's a couple of them in here. But otherwise, you can punch and do that. Okay? And I'm going to put this back in here. Okay. All right. So then what I did, I took my happy birthday, and I'm going to pull this off. I'm going to hope it pulls good. There, there's one. I'm going to pull all the way around. You're going to take this double sided tape off. Okay. Now, you noticed I've got in the center my little color things. Okay. And now I'm going to make sure I've got this going the right direction. You want it where you can see the words happy birthday. And I probably should have brought a piece of paper under this so I could see what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Sure, got it. I got it. Okay. And you've got your shaker. Okay. 
then what you're going to do and what I want to do first is I'm going to put this in on top because I want to kind of a design and I'll tell you those little those little pieces stick to your hand like crazy okay okay so now I'm going to get this on and that was that piece I told you and the measurements will be on the side okay And I cut it where it's a fourth inch smaller than your foundation. Okay. All right. Now, one more thing. Okay. I'm going to get it. Okay, I'm bringing my cutter out because I didn't cut this. You need a piece of DSP paper, four and a half by four and a fourth. Okay, so what do I have here? Okay, I've got about four and a fourth. Okay, and I've got four and a, and a five and a fourth. So let's take it as five and a fourth right now. Let's just see how it looks. Okay, and we're going to take... I think that's going to be okay. I don't think I need to take that down any further. And that's not sticking there. Okay. I'm going to run a piece of that on there. It won't hurt it. To try and make sure that stays in there. Okay. Not on there all the way. It's morning. Okay. okay, I've got it hanging over the edge. So what I would do is just simply clip it. When you hold it up, take your scissors. I've got just a sliver where I haven't cut it perfect. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of DSP, four and a half by five and a fourth, and I'm gonna score it at about a fourth. Give or take a little. Okay. And I'm going to fold it. There we go. And I'm going to run a piece of adhesive. I didn't show you that, but I was just checking it. Okay. Now I'm going to set this down. Get this out of our way. Okay, I ran a piece of adhesive right down here. I've already embossed it. And I'm trying to get this on the fold. There we go. And hopefully this will go in a regular envelope and I have got it folded a little bit. Perfect. Okay. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there you've got. The idea is the fact that when you flip it, you're going to see the color. And I truthfully on this one reversed it on this. So really when I want to see, let's see if I can move it. I don't know if I can. I might be able to. Okay. What I really want to do is have this color showing. So let's see if I can get this. There we go. Okay. The idea is that when you look through it, you have a background. And Sandy came up with that idea, and I thought that was rather neat to give it a background behind it. So there you go. There is your birthday card. 
I think it's rather neat. I'll bring this one over. This is a little more complete. It. I've done the flowers here. You can put another one down here. Something on my table kind of stuck. So, real easy card. Um, a lot of fun to make. So, there's one of your shaker cards. So, that's it for me. Uh, this is Pamela, the stamp in pink rose, where stampin' ideas are always in bloom. And this is going to be your card full Friday. It's a little bit of a different kind of card. Instead of us folding a bunch of paper, we're doing a shaker card. So, it's a different kind. So, take care. Have a great weekend. And thanks for joining me.